Mostly you got a day off, but Saturday, what are you going to do with it? Uh, I, I would love to go back to Texas, but uh, I'm probably just going to go down to Atlanta and see some of my boys. Probably just get a day off and just chill watching college football and be a fan. You watch Ole Miss Bama? Yeah, yeah, yeah for, sure. for sure. For sure. How's the uh, team handle coming off its first loss of the season? Have you know, practices so far? Uh, it was tough. You know, it was a tough loss, honestly. You know, I mean, anytime you. You know, you, you 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 go down there, you know, and you, you lose a game that you you work so hard to, to, to get a victory for. You know, it's tough, but you know, we we moved on. We watched the film. We 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 corrected mistakes on Sunday, and today was a day just to get better. It was get better at the, the, the little things, the, the fundamental day. It was it was it was get better at, at, at your step on the defensive line. You know, working pass rush moves, getting back to the stuff that we were doing in August. So. You know, from from that point, you know, we we moved on, but you know, we're still we're still taking it, you know, day by day, learning, just trying to get better as a unit. You guys still working on yourselves instead of holding. Yeah, definitely, definitely. We're just you know just trying to get better these, these next three days. What was it like watching the film, and especially that first quarter, first half when you know thirty three was running free and all that kind definitely. of stuff. It was tough. It was tough. You know, because you know we 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 work in practice and and, and you know you, you hate to give up those big plays but you know we know that you know you know if we if we limit those big plays it's a different game you know but you know it happens and and we we learn from it and we know we're looking forward to doing you know this is what we did in the second half play playing hard getting off the blocks and making plays and, and and doing that for the rest of the season what do you guys have to do to get off to a faster start and kind of play that the way you guys played in the second half right away uh, just just focus focus in uh, in, in, in meetings focus you know, you know, because we we've been having a really good Tuesday and Wednesday practices, but you know, focusing on on the stuff that we got to do on Mondays and on on Thursdays when it's more of a walk through practice, and on Fridays and walk through <coughs> walk throughs and and little things like that, and, and coming out and having a better better start the game. Coach Johnson mentioned a uh, lot of missed tackles, seventeen in the uh, well, missed assignments, not tackles, missed assignments. Yeah. Uh, he said that was a big thing that he tried to preach to y'all. It's, what were you seeing on some of those plays where yeah. Uh, Hill was running free, missed uh, gap assignment there, and I think there were a couple others tight end over the middle. There was a missed uh, assignment in the secondary, somebody didn't cover. So what do you see in that? Uh, you know, missed assignments. You know, that's 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 something that you know we know that we're a good team, but we can't beat ourselves. You know, in this league, you know the teams that that are at the top they don't beat themselves. You know, you got you got you got to beat them, and you know that's something that, that 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 up front that's all we can worry about is what we what we did wrong, and you know we had a bunch of missed assignments for ourselves, so. We gotta work, work, work on cleaning that stuff up, and you know, mentally making sure that we're bringing the focus to the games that we need to. Those talk about your role, just kind of working with Mont Adams and, and the other young guys, just kind of showing them the way. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, for me, you know, guys like D. Ford, guys like Craig Sanders, guys like you know Jeff Whitaker, you know, and uh, and, and and all the rest of the seniors, Ken Carter. You know, we, we just want to make sure that we're leading by example in everything we do. You know, we got to make sure that that our game's on on point. You know, so those, when those younger guys look at you know the little things that, that that you know people don't see on the field, the steps, the the technique stuff that they're saying, well, these older guys are doing it. We got to do it too. You know, and we're just trying to lead by example and holding holding ourselves accountable so we can hold those guys accountable. And those guys. You know they're great players. You know y'all see it on Saturdays. You know those guys are gonna have bright futures. But you know we we, we all need them to, to step up, and we gotta step up. We gotta elevate our game in this in this in this next little uh, stretch of games. I mean, like you and D, have y'all had to kind of work with Big Jeff to keep him kind of sane, not being able to play? It, it's tough. You know we actually you know we all sat down a couple of days ago and had a talk. You know because it's tough for him. You know you you work so hard to uh, to to get ready for the season, and 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 you know he's fighting every single day and in rehab, and he, he can't wait to get back. What's been the key to Montrevious getting off to a fast start as a freshman? Um, you know, he's he's confident. He's a confident kid. You know, he's not he's not a kid of uh, of a bunch of words, but you know, he's a confident kid. When he comes in there, he's just ready to go out there and do what he has to do to help his team win. And you know, you love that from uh, as an older guy. You know, you love seeing that. And you know, he's just going to continue to get better. Let's talk about your play uh, in particular. How you thought you done these first four games? Uh, you know, I've 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 played I've played I've played I've gotten better every single week. You know, I feel like. You know, my first two weeks, I, I got better. I got better, and then uh, Mississippi State. You know, I played an okay game. I could have played better. You know, I could have helped my team uh, play better. And then LSU. You know, I feel like that was that was probably my best graded out game. But I just got to continue to get better. I got to continue to to focus on the little things and focus on my pass rush. You know, from if, if I'm playing inside, if I'm playing outside, whatever wherever they got me at, just doing what I got to do to help this team get victories and, and make plays. Very early question. You know anything about Ole Miss yet? Uh, similar offense, probably with the guys facing. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, I mean, we we we're watching film on our own. We're doing stuff like that. You know, we're we're definitely getting that jump start. But right now, we're just focused on us. What's been the division? Are you playing more inside or outside? I'm I'm doing both. You know, I'm just I'm just I'm just trying to get in where I fit in. You know, I'm just trying to trying to do whatever I can do to help this football team.
how have injuries kind of uh, set y'all back a little bit, especially on the defensive line? Craig, Jeff, some of those guys. Yeah, yeah. You know, we've been banged up, but, you know, I mean, that's football. That's that's every team in the country. You know, it's not an excuse. You know, the next guy's got to step up. So, you know, whoever's, whoever's been out since the beginning of the camp, you know, the, the next guy stepped up, and we're just going to continue to do that. What do, you, what, what do you feel like you guys have included on the most in the first four games? And what are you kind of focusing on as a group moving forward? Oh, just, 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 just hands, and, hands and steps. Hands and steps. You know, Coach Gardner, he continues to preach it. And um, you know we're getting better with it, but we know that you know we, we know that you know if once again if we don't beat ourselves, we're we're, we're a really good group up front, and and that, that comes down to the initial first step, you know playing with your, playing with good hands, you know playing with flat backs, playing low, playing good technique. So you know it's stuff that that you know for me I could just spit out because coach keeps saying it over and over. What do you know about Craig's uh, rehab and how he's? He's getting better every day. He's getting better every day. Is he out there practicing with you all? Yeah, I think so.